Devon Lorat versus Levan Saginashvili. They both are obviously taking this match very seriously. I was a little worried about Levan's condition after the injury, but he is looking bigger than he's ever looked, and lifting more than ever. I'm a bit worried that Devon hasn't shown quite the fire that I've seen in him in the past. Maybe he's figuring out a combination that he feels really comfortable and the strongest. Last time I pulled him, I knew he's getting stronger and motivated to do everything he can to be victorious. Devon will have analyzed every aspect of his last match against Levan. If Devon doesn't get hurt in the first round, that could have played out completely different. I'm not going to be surprised either way. It's not going to be how strong Levan is, side pressure, upper arm strength or elbow. It's going to be his cupping ability. Can Devon's back pressure and pronation be stronger than Levan's cupping? If it is, Devon will win. If it's not, Levan is going to turn Devon's hand upright, and he has plenty strength to beat him if that happens. Devon still has to play that endurance card to win the match. I hope nobody gets injured and both guys are fighting in a good condition all rounds. The more rounds Devon can go and still be in a fierce, healthy spot, the more advantage is going to have. We have seen Levan having oxygen during his match against Ermis. No matter what kind of great shape you are in, if you are as big as Levan, the longer the match goes, Devon is going to have the advantage in that respect. Levan has to be the favorite, 55%, 45%. Sounds good to me, but I'm going to root for Devon. Hermes Gasparini versus Alijan Muratov. Alijan is a powerful beast. He is crushing the best arm wrestlers. Maybe I'm not as much of a fan and follower of Hermes's left hand as I should be, but Alijan is super impressive. Every time I watch Alizan's matches, I'm really surprised, and I wonder if there is anybody who can stop him. I would hate to vote against Hermes, so I won't say who wins, but Alizan's got the momentum. Alex Kurdesha versus Georgi Tsvetkov. I don't know how this match will go. Georgi has definitely proved that he can fight with the best arm wrestlers like Devon. As far as the back pressure and hand control are going outside, I don't see Alex trying to hook him, so Alex's move and strength is something that I think Georgie can deal with. Whoever can outlast the other probably will win. I don't think it's going to be a flash match or an inside game. They both probably will be stuck in the middle fighting for the hand grip in the strap. Michael Todd versus Frank Lamparelli. I think Frank is probably getting into position right from the start. He will feel like he is super comfortable has the wrist on control, his hand on his side of the table, and then he will realize that he is in trouble with Mike. I can see the match goes the first two rounds for Frank, and then Michael figures out how to turn it around. Michael will have the endurance and the heart to finish it. Irakli Zirakashvili versus Sasho Andriev. This is a very close match. If the match stops, I think Sasho wins. But Irakli has looked so impressive, so explosive against top guys. Irakli beat Paul Lin, Rustam Babayev, and in a training match after Dave Chaffee's match, he pulled a little bit with Vitali Laletin and looked great. Sasho and Irakli are top, top guys. Irakli is probably going to be a little more hungry. They have experience against each other, so they should know what to expect. I think small details can decide the match.